Excellencies, Ministers, distinguished colleagues, delegates, thank you very much for being with us today for the 73rd session of the WHO Regional Committee for Europe. In a few moments, we will be joined by Prime Minister Ismailov of Kazakhstan uh, for the opening ceremony. And in preparation, I just wanted to share a couple of housekeeping messages with you. Thank you very much for being with us today. And as you know, in the plenary discussions, all four languages, working languages, are available. Headsets are in the room. And we would already like to thank the interpreters for the immense support that they will provide to us. Please note that the plenary sessions will be live streamed. And we look forward to many colleagues following the discussions over these three days online. We're very grateful to the Republic of Kazakhstan for hosting this wonderful, wonderful session in this beautiful space and for the collaboration with the Ministry of Health in preparation for our three days together. As you know, WHO has a zero tolerance policy for any form of harassment and sexual misconduct at any WHO event or WHO premises. The organization is committed to enabling events at which everyone can participate in an inclusive, respectful and safe environment. All participants are asked to ensure integrity and respect towards each other and everyone involved in this event. If a participant has a concern, please speak to Kate Everstein, our regional PRSEAH coordinator, and WHO has a zero tolerance policy for inaction in any cases, so all concerns would be handled conscientiously, conscientiously and confidentially. Finally, some short housekeeping messages. Please make sure to always wear your badge when you're in the beautiful Congress Centre. As you know, we do have an app available in both English and Russian where important updates and announcements will be uploaded on a regular basis over our three days. And there is a help desk at the reception should you have any questions. For any other practical questions during our three days together, please consult the guide for participants on the official web page or the app. Thank you for your patience while we wait for the dignitaries to join us. And we would like to share a short experience of the richness of Kazakhstan's beauty and culture with you. Thank you, Excellencies. Каждый из нас представлял свою идеальную страну путешествий, где за каждым поворотом эпичные виды. Это страна шкатулка, где запрятались сотни посланий из древности. Это была бы страна приключений. Отправляешься в путь, и каждый раз новый маршрут. А каждая ночь в Тревелстане уютная. В комфорте или в шумной компании. Travel Stani. Только и успевай делать фото. Здесь и там. Travel Stan. Страна гастрономических открытий. Представь. Travel Stan. Каким он будет для тебя? Добро пожаловать в Казахстан. Добро пожаловать в Казахстан. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished colleagues, could I please ask you to rise to welcome our dignitaries? His Excellency, Prime Minister is my love, Prime Minister of Kazakhstan, the Director General, Dr. Tedros of WHO, the Regional Director of WHO Europe, Dr. hans Andrei Pikuga, and Dr. Azar Giniad, Minister of Healthcare of Kazakhstan. Thank you. <laughs> Distinguished Prime Minister, Excellencies, Ministers, Delegates, Kermete Dostar, Sigdirde, Kazakh, Jerinda, Karsa, Luha, Kwanish, Welcome to the opening 
of the 73rd session of the WHO Regional Committee for Europe. We are deeply appreciative to Kazakhstan for hosting both yesterday's International Conference on Primary Care and this year's session of the WHO Regional Committee for Europe. It is a tradition of the step to welcome guests with generous hospitality and in celebration of this opening session of the 73rd session of the Regional Committee, I would like to welcome the group Ulitao to the stage if they are ready to join us. Ulitao, welcome. Thank you, Rahmet, and we look forward to your performance.
Rahmet, thank you so much, Ulitao. That was sensational. The music of the Kazakh Sep is truly inspiring at the commencement of this 73rd session of the Regional Committee in beautiful Astana. Excellencies, Astana is the capital of global health during these days. And with much appreciation, please allow me to invite to the stage the Prime Minister of Kazakhstan, Excellency Ali Khan Askanovich Smailov. Excellency, the floor is yours. Thank you. Good morning to everybody. <clears throat> Dear ladies and gentlemen, it's a great honor for me to welcome everyone to the 73rd session of the European Regional Committee of the World Health Organization in Astana. <clears throat> I would like to express my gratitude to the Director General of the World Health Organization, Dr. Tedros Ghebreyesus, and to the Regional Director for Europe of the World Health Organization, Dr. Hans Kluge, for their support and participation in this event. I am delighted to host esteemed health ministers, high-level delegates, and representatives from 54 countries here in Kazakhstan. The global community is in increasingly recognizing the importance of healthcare. The citizens' health is also one of the top priorities for Kazakhstan. Yesterday, the President Kasim Jamar Tokayev, in his opening speech at the Global Conference, outlined the importance of providing affordable and uh, quality health care for all. Since gaining independence, we have made considerable progress toward providing our citizens with universal coverage of health services, <coughs> including introducing compulsory social health insurance. Over the past 20 years, we have been actively working on disease prevention and promoting a healthy lifestyle in society. At the same time, we have established a, a well-developed primary health care infrastructure. There are best practice centers in every region with a focus of family-centered care. Primary health care financing now constitutes 56% of the total funding. Last year, the government approved the national project Modernization of Rural Health Care. As part of this, we are planning to build an additional 655 primary health care facilities and modernize 32 district hospitals in order to ensure that residents in rural and distant regions have access to medical services. In addition, we have established a centralized ambulance service and uh, created conditions for medical aviation. As well as investing in infrastructure, we also must remember that providing medical care requires high qualification and dedication from the healthcare workers. Therefore, we are committed to creating optimal conditions for them. Annually, the salaries of doctors increase by 30%, while those of mid-level healthcare employees by 20%. Separately, we pay special attention to the digitalization of sector and to the integration and the standardization of all information systems. We will introduce electronic health passports, ensuring that every citizen has full access to information about his own health. I would also like to mention that our top medical institutions transfer technologies in cardiology and neurosurgical. Next year, we will open a new National Scientific Oncology Center with Proton Therapy. Our objectives for the future are ambitious. We are determined to further strengthen our healthcare system. Dear ladies and gentlemen, we are always open for discussions and recommendations, ready to share our experience and ideas that will drive the development of health systems in our region. I hope that outcomes of this session serves, serve as a testament to the power of unity and cooperation in our efforts to enhance the health of our people. I wish you a successful and productive work. Thank you for your attention.
Thank you, Your Excellency, for your inspiring words at the beginning of our three days together here in Astana. And I would now like to invite our Director General, uh, Dr. Tedros Adamon Ghebreyesus, to the stage for, so for his remarks and address. Thank you very much. Dr. Tedros, the floor is yours. Thank you. Your Excellency, Prime Minister Smilov, Your Excellency and my sister, Minister Giniat, my brother and regional director, Hans Kluge, honorable ministers, distinguished delegates, dear colleagues and friends. I would like to start by wishing Kazakhstan happy Republic's Day for tomorrow. Res Respublika Amerikias Ute Bulsin. I thank Your Excellency, the Prime Minister and Prime Minister Giniat for your leadership and commitment to primary health care. I thank the government and people of Kazakhstan for your hospitality in hosting the WHO Regional Office for Europe a meeting of the Regional Committee. I also thank you for yesterday's important conference on primary health care, which brought together so many distinguished colleagues from around the world to mark the Almada and Astana declarations. Primary health care is one of the most important concepts in public health, encompassing not only medical care, but prevention, health promotion, rehabilitation, and the determinants of health. It's the most inclusive, effective and efficient path to universal health coverage. At the conference, countries shared powerful stories illustrating how ambitious primary health care reforms can be made even when resources are constrained. Kazakhstan itself has undergone an impressive transformation in adapting a primary health care approach. Yesterday, I had the opportunity to see firsthand how the values of the Almata and Astana Declaration can be implemented in practice. Yesterday, I had the honor of joining Minister Giniat for the opening of the Republican Primary Healthcare Governance Center. It was established to compile the lessons learned from best practices and to strengthen health system governance and to support expanding access to high quality primary healthcare services for the people of Kazakhstan. I was also able to learn about the work of Kazakhstan's mobile clinics initiative to reach remote communities which face barriers accessing health services. It's tremendously impressive. In closing, I would like to call on Euros member states to redouble your efforts and to make more and smarter investments towards reorienting, towards reorienting to primary health care approach. This must go in concert with supporting and investing in the health and care workforce with quality education, fair pay, proper equipment, and decent working conditions. These are investments not only in the health of your populations, but in your country's social and economic development. Investments in primary health care are investments in the future. WHO stands with you in the spirit of Almada and Astana, and as we celebrate the 75th anniversary of the founding of WHO in our united journey towards health for all. I thank you, and once again, on the Republic's Day, I say, Khutta Bulsen, Rahmet. Thank you much, very much, Director General. And indeed, one of the topics that we will be discussing in the coming days is the health and care workforce in our region. So thank you for these inspiring words. And I would now like to invite our Regional Director, 
Dr. Hans-Henri Pikluga to the podium uh, for some opening remarks. Hans, the floor is yours. Thank you. Your Excellency, Honorable Prime Minister of Kazakhstan, Minister Ginyat, my big brother, WHO Director General, Dr. Tedros, distinguished delegates and friends. Sis der de Respublika Kunimen shun jurekten kutuktuk taimon. Ay shukaspan talagay tabistar taimin kazakieli jasai bersin. I sincerely congratulate you on the national holiday of the Republic of Kazakhstan. I wish a peace, a great success and a further prosperity to the Kazakh land. It is my very great pleasure to welcome you all to this 73rd session of the WHO Region Committee for Europe here in the vibrant city of Astana. Even more so today, as we celebrate the United Nations Day worldwide to mark the anniversary of the founding of the UN in 1945 and reflect on the precious values at its core, peace and security, development and human rights that remain so relevant in the world today. This session brings together almost 600 participants, including ministers and high-level officials, as well as representatives of partner and non-state actor organizations. Most importantly, I would like to welcome the youth delegates attending here in an official capacity for the very first time. With so many competing demands at home and abroad, thank you so much for your time and commitment to participate actively in our discussions in Kazakhstan. Let me also express heartfelt thanks to the government of Kazakhstan for hosting us. Your country has a long and distinguished history of advancing public health. It's such an honor to be here today as we celebrate 75 years of the World Health Organization, as well as 45 years of the Alma-Ata Declaration and five years since the Astana Declaration was adopted. My sister, Minister Ginyat, thank you so much for your tremendous commitment and the close attention you have given to planning this meeting. The warmth of your welcome and the state-of-the-art venue you have chosen for us, combined with the beautiful artistic examples of Kazakhstan's rich culture, will prove inspirational in our discussions. I am sincerely grateful for the presence and the very motivating words of you, Mr. Prime Minister Smilov, to us all. Dear Minister and Delegates, yesterday we had the opportunity to take the next step in our global primary healthcare journey, once again here in Kazakhstan. Representatives of 70 countries met to showcase the impressive work and innovations that they have introduced to transform primary healthcare since the Astana Declaration was signed. I myself, I remain a tireless champion of translating our primary healthcare commitments into bold and pragmatic actions, and the regional office is your partner to achieve this. Now we have a comprehensive agenda ahead of us and vital issues to consider over the next three days. We look forward to your reflections on the work of the regional office and in the days ahead, we will discuss plans for the health and care workforce on antimicrobial resistance, health emergency preparedness, as well as our commitment to the health and well-being of all, including refugees and migrants. I wish us all good luck, productive discussions and decisions. Rahmet. Thank you very much, Regional Director, for sharing your reflections with us on the days ahead and the importance of this Regional Committee session. It is a great honour as a public health community to be together in Astana and deep appreciation to the Government of Kazakhstan for hosting us for these days. Distinguished Prime Minister, Excellencies, Ministers, Delegates, Kremete Dostar, this brings us to the conclusion of our welcome ceremony. Thank you most sincerely, Your Excellency Prime Minister Smailov, uh, for being with us this morning. And we wish the Republic of Kazakhstan 
a joyful national day of celebration tomorrow. Rachmet.